back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me using a lot of new products like literally almost my whole face is brand new products which is so fun and also we're going to be talking about my first month here at grad school you guys really enjoyed my um first day of grad school vlog so i'm going to be having more vlogs coming out obviously but since i've had a moment to like really reflect about everything and i know you guys have been asking me a lot of questions so this would be a good video to do makeup and talk to you guys at the same time um i asked you guys the questions on instagram so if you're not following me on there please follow me at real and barbie i do outfit posts and I like love to talk to you guys over there. So if you're not already, I would love for you to follow me. Yeah. And also, um, if you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Breland. And just for a little bit of background, if you don't know, um, I went to Spelman College for undergrad. I'm originally from Maryland, and now I'm here in Raleigh, North Carolina, getting my master's in physiology um, at North Carolina State University. It's a one and a half, two year program, and it is my post back option before I try to go to medical school. So, um, if you want to hear about how that's been going for me and see how I got this look, because y'all, we are we are glowing, we're sultry. <laughs> if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep watching. So I'm starting off with my eyebrows done and my eyelids primed. I'm going to go into my Deck of Scarlet palette. I am so excited to receive this package. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. So you guys, if you don't know what Deck of Scarlet is, this is what the packaging looks like. And this palette, you guys, is actually the Raven Elise palette. So um, it has like her little card in here. Look how pretty she looks. So it says, I'm so excited to finally share this collaboration with you. I was shook when Deck of Scarlet invited me to curate my very own palette. We worked together over the past year to create a fun palette to take you from day to night. Thank you so much for all your continued support. Can't wait to see the awesome looks that you create. So if you guys don't know who Raven Elise is, she is a obviously beauty influencer, a YouTuber. She makes all kinds of videos like lifestyle, mom related, fashion related, DIY. She's been on YouTube for forever. She's one of the first people I subscribe to. So I think it's really cool that I have her palette today. So this is the sleeve that the palette comes in. Looks like this. Even the back is really pretty. It's such nice sleek packaging. Here on the back it says, um, fire in the sky, magic in your hand, opulent desert dreams. Driving into the desert at sunset, the horizon flames with the fiercest hues distilled into our latest. Wow, this is really, really long. I don't feel like reading all of this, but um, <laughs> look how pretty. Don't you guys just love new makeup palettes? This is the edition number 10 Deck of Scarlet palette. Oh, and these are made in Canada, so that's really cool. So yes, for those of you guys who don't know, Deck of Scarlet is a makeup line and a subscription service. So every two months, you can get a new makeup palette and other products that you can use to create your full face. It's really cool because it only costs $29.95, which is cheaper than buying like one product from Sephora. You guys know like makeup gets expensive. So it's fun to do something like this because you always know that you're going to get makeup coming in and it's going to be more affordable than it would be if you tried to buy each product separately. So this season's palette comes with three eyeshadows, two blushes, blushers and two lip colors so you can see this is what the palette looks like and again this is the one that raven elise created so it's so nice there's a close-up i actually have a special link for you guys you can get 30 percent off of this palette if you guys are interested the link will be the first one in the description box down below so make sure you check it out and support raven elise with my code and 30 percent off your first order is going to be only 21 dollars and it's really cool because like i said every month they collaborate with a big youtuber so it's going to be really fun to see the people that you know and love like in your home you know i feel like i have a part of her here with me and you're supporting like i said the youtubers that you love if you're interested in Deck of Scarlet, they are paraben free and cruelty free and they ship to the USA, the UK and Canada. Okay, so you guys are all zoomed in. We're gonna start off with the color Vibes, this one right here, just to set our, our brow bone. Why is that so hard for me to say? You guys, I hope I don't have a hard time talking today. <laughs> I haven't done um, like a sit down talk video in forever, but I'm so excited to finally talk to you guys. I also asked you guys on Instagram, to send me some questions with a new questions feature. I love that little feature. So I'll be answering some of those questions too. But, oh my gosh. Basically you guys, life is amazing, it is what it should be. I really, really, really can't complain. Like, my transition 
Oh, oh my gosh, I'm like knocking over stuff. My transition here to grad school has been pretty darn seamless and I'm just so grateful. I am so blessed. Like, okay, I'm also gonna be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I like never use this palette, you guys. But um, I don't know, I decided to use it today. So I'm not gonna talk through every shade just because it's not about the makeup, it's about me talking. So yes, anyway. So yes, as you guys know, um, my mom and her boyfriend dropped me off and I was so grateful that she was able to come and help me move in. Like it was really stressful leading up to that point because I wasn't sure if she was gonna be able to. And I understand I'm an adult and a lot of people wouldn't do that. A lot of parents, you know, at this point, and they let me know, trust me, they let me know. Um, I'm blessed, I'm lucky to be able to have somebody who cared enough to to come and help me move in because at this point I am grown but I am doing a lot of stuff on my own you guys were asking a lot about like financial aid and stuff because I mentioned it in my first vlog by the way if you guys haven't seen my first day of grad school vlog by the time you see this hopefully my first week is up as well um I've kind of just been I don't want to say take a taking a break from um vlogging because I'm not I just wanted to get settled you know i didn't want to have the camera in my face the entire time like um i want to get content for you guys but i also want to be able to live in the moment and i just didn't want to have the camera in my face so for it's actually it was a month i think on thursday or friday that i've been in grad school um and i probably have only vlogged for like a week of it but i've still been consistent so y'all don't know but by the time you got next like vlog that you see after the first week it's literally going to be like up to date even though it was like a month ago, if that makes any sense. So anyway, how has it been? I'm so glad I asked you guys questions because I already don't know what to say. Um, basically, it's good. <laughs> it's not as bad as, um, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna be bad. I don't really know what I expected. Um, I hoped it was gonna be a smooth transition and it was. I hoped, um, you know, that I was gonna be able to keep up with the schoolwork and stuff. And I am. I hope that I was going to like the city and I'm going to meet new friends. I do and I have. So let me just go ahead and go to your questions because I don't really know what to say. And it's like I know what to say, but then all of a sudden now I was like, I don't know what to say, <laughs> you know? So Monica underscore underscore, I think that's maybe three underscores. Michelle says, what is your favorite experience so far about a PWI? Um, my favorite experience so far has been... <laughs> me riding my bike to class if that's so weird um i know you guys know if you've been following me on snapchat and instagram i have my hashtag bike chronicles because as you guys saw in my first week of grad school vlog like i was i missed a class because i couldn't get there like the campus is just so big it's, it's ridiculous so um it's just something that i wasn't used to and then i realized that riding the bus just wasn't the smart this idea um, the smartest thing to do was to, um, I don't, I don't even know what look I'm doing. I don't know why I can't, why I can't like talk and makeup at the same time. Oh my gosh. Um, what's that saying? What was I saying? Yes. Basically, long story short, I ended up deciding that riding the bus would be, I mean, sorry, riding my bike would be the smartest thing to do. And I love riding my bikes. I remember I used to love riding my bikes when I was little too. Like, um, I actually was like an outside kid. I know I guess people probably expect for me to be one that was inside. I used, I was around that neighborhood, honey, okay? I knew everybody in my neighborhood. I would be the one ringing on everybody's doorbell like, do y'all wanna go out? I have, y'all see my, I have scars on my legs because I am a true, like I had a true childhood. I've had those moments where I've gone like, woo down a hill and busted my butt and like have flown off of my bike. Like I've really, I lived that life okay <laughs> I love my bike so um when it was time for me to like have the opportunity to ride again I was just so excited and I just remember why I loved it so much it's just such a freeing experience um I don't know riding my bike and so I know somebody also asked me April April Kells she asked me is it scary riding my bike at nighttime so the thing about where I live is that I am basically on campus like I live in student housing um it's it's not student housing yeah it is it's a student housing apartment so it's apartments but they're you know made for students and whatnot and it's literally directly on the campus so my ride from my apartment to my classes and especially in my 
and the library is like in between all of it i really i have like three locations that i go to i have two buildings for my classes one of my classes is online so it doesn't count and then the library so i have three places where i go and they all are like right here and my apartment is like right here the closest ride that i have is like two minutes the furthest ride that i have is like five minutes and like the student center i when i i know how to get around a little bit more now and even that is only like how far is the student center maybe like 10 minutes on my bike and it's not very hilly like it, there aren't a lot of hills so it's very easy it's 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 cool you put on your headphones and you just start riding so it's i say that to say that it's very safe so don't worry about me i'm basically on campus when i am riding so and there's um a bike lane it is like a bike city which is also really really cool and different so i literally can ride in the middle of the street and it's like normal okay this is bomb the bomb eyeshadow um i'm trying to figure out if i should do a halo eye or if i should do a um just a regular like eye. i think i'm gonna do halo because this shade is pretty soft so even though like it's a dark brown, I like it because it's like it's a dark brown, but it has a little bit of um a little bit of sheen to it. It's a very unique shade. I like it. Goes with my shirt well. Anyway, so yeah, don't, you don't have to worry about that. But I think so far that's what I like about it because I mean you rarely see people riding their bike. Um, at least they didn't at my HBCU, but they do here. So I really like that. I enjoy riding my bike. It's freeing and it's like driving, but like you don't have to worry about gas and you just get up and go when you want to. It's pretty great. I, I enjoy it. So that's that. Social life at a PWI. A lot of you guys are worrying about my social life, which is cool, I guess. Um, for me, my social life is cool. I don't know. I've kind of, I'm on like a, I don't know how to describe it coming from doing a lot in undergrad i'm not that pressed to do a lot here if that makes sense like i'm not pressed to like join a whole bunch of organizations i've done that i've lived that life i'm really just here to like to chill and to get my second degree um the friends that i have met have been like things that i do or things that either interest me um basically the way that it happened which i think i talked about this in the vlog but if i didn't i'll explain it here I went to a mixer and I meant to vlog. I was vlogging that day, but I didn't vlog when I went inside. And it was really, really cool actually. Um, it was like the first time they, that they had ever done anything like that. This, um, I forget what the center is called. African American Center or the African Studies it's um it's basically like the building for um black people and i'm not even just saying it, like it's the building for black people so they had a mixer like the second day of classes and it was um for all okay let me focus it was for all graduate black graduate students and black graduate professors um, staff basically anybody black at the institution on the graduate level was there and so that's where I met all of my friends it was super easy to meet people everybody was like very nice and um, I'm gonna go into Zaya now and put that in the middle of my lid Ooh, this is oh look how cute of course Raven's gonna have like this rose gold color and we love it we stand we stand a rose gold anyway so that's where I literally met people in my program. Okay, it does have some fallout, guys. Um, I met people in my program, which was great. I met people um, above me the same year as me, and everybody there was black. So that's literally where I've met like all of my friends. Um, and then I met the president for the Black Graduate Association, and she was also over top of this multicultural um, orientation that was going on that weekend and so she's like she wanted me to be there or whatever um it'd be a great opportunity for me to meet more people um really just find my space basically in this white space so i went i was like yeah of course you know sure i'll be there i went um and then i met more friends and so every time i go to these different things i meet um people who i bond with and everybody that i met so far is super cool um i really get along with everybody um yeah it's i don't know it's it's been pretty cool like i said when i went into my first um i feel like this look looks really dark but i guess we're gonna go for a smoky look now when i first went the second day or maybe it was either the first or the second day um 
one of the guys who was in my program, he recognized me from orientation. And he was like, hey, what's your name? Join my study group. We literally have studied like almost every other day since then. Like, you know, he's like my friend here. So as far as like the social life goes, the same like there's a lot of socials and mixers and stuff so whenever i'm like wanting to go out i have people to go out with i don't really want to go out that much but i mean when i do i can so that's great um and what else did i want to say and basically for me only thing is that i really haven't had the opportunity to really like explore the city and i don't really know whose fault that is like it's nobody's fault i've just kind of just been chilling like i've just been i've really just been chilling hard guys so i haven't um explored the city but slowly but surely i will so this vibe shade is really pretty for like the brow bone but it's not bright enough i feel like for the inner corner so um i'm gonna use I didn't know these shades didn't. I didn't know these shades didn't have the names on them. So I hope you guys don't want to know which ones I'm using because I don't know. I'm gonna take this big one over here. Put this in my inner corner. Add some spice to my life. But yeah, so that's basically it. Okay, let me keep going and answering your questions because I'm like rambling. Um, PWI experience versus HBCU experience. I think it's you guys really think that I'm like over here struggling at a PWI. I rarely feel like I'm, I don't want to say that I really feel like, I definitely feel the difference, but it's not as big of a deal as like, I feel like you guys are making it. Um, maybe I made it that way. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal to me. It's like I am black in a white space, which is mainly the world. And even though I've never really had to experience that before, I'm comfortable and confident in myself to where I know who I am and being in this environment doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. If anything, it just allows me to explore different people and get to know how people are different. Okay, so they also sent the Deck of Scarlet um, Long Lusting Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And you guys told me in my last video that wings aren't childish. So we're going to go ahead and wing it out. I like how this has like a <laughs> a pump so you can get the product on the brush. You guys know I usually don't use felt tip liners, I usually use brush, but these are high key like way easier, like it's so easy. So I primed my face with the Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Gel Primer. This is still my bomb. I love using it. Now we're going to go into another new product. This is by Becca. This is their Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in Warm Honey. Y'all, I'm so excited for this. I really hope that this is my shade because <sighs> look how beautiful she looks. Okay, it says shake well before using. What brush should I apply this with? I think I'm going to apply this with oh wow look at the way it opens how do you do this oh wow guys I did not know how this foundation worked okay this looks like it could be my shade it may be a little bit light but we're gonna make it work so I'm just gonna go ahead and how the heck do you use this thing <laughs> struggling okay this pump is like Okay, what? <laughs> Help. Okay. I was supposed to be super luminous, so I'm gonna tell you what, y'all. I got dry skin, but I don't really do the do, okay? I don't like dewy. I like things to be matte, always. I don't know why that is. Have you guys noticed that? Like, I, I don't never do, I don't never. Wow, Raylan. Wow, Raylan. Speaking of proper English, let's talk about the academics. I don't like this pump. I can't get it. I don't like this pump. Mm. It's like I can't. It's like nothing's coming out. Do you guys see this? Like, I'm really trying. Ugh, how annoying. Okay. Can I do it like this? <laughs> Getting lazy. Boo. Okay, we're just gonna try it like this, and then if I really like the coverage or whatever, then we'll. Oh, and this is super light. Um, how irritating, how annoying. Maybe I, maybe I can make this my winter shade. And this has like no coverage. This is whack. 
<laughs> this is whack. I don't like it. Oh no, this is a no for me. Wait, let me let me try. Let me try. What do you guys think? This is very much so an everyday type situation. I should have looked this up. I got this from Marshalls, which is why I'm so excited because um it was $12.99. So I'm thinking to myself like, oh my gosh, Rebecca Foundation or Dark Skin. Let me go for it. I don't, I don't. Anyway, I'm gonna try and fix this while I'm fixing. I'm gonna talk about the academics. It hasn't been that bad. Um, as far as like the course loads and stuff goes, I mean, I came in like, I'm not playing any games. Like I am going to do, this doesn't cover anything. Oh, I don't like it. It's literally like a tinted moisturizer. This is gonna be good though for every day for me for class because I'll talk about that too. <laughs> okay, so first off, for the academics. Um, the coursework is not too hard. Um, I've just been staying on top of it. I feel like because I don't do anything but go to school, it's been kind of easy to stay on top of it because all I do is just like go to class and I go to the library and I do my work and then um, I try and have like all my work done before the weekend starts. Wow, I just got makeup on my collar. I'm a slob, what is wrong with me? Okay, I definitely see the luminous, like my skin looks so healthy. And the color is not bad once it's blended in, once it's blended in. But it's just like not pretty, you know? Like when you apply, after you apply foundation, like you should feel like a fresh start. You should feel pretty. And I can't say that I feel that way. And I don't know if this, how many pumps this counts as because it's like nothing is coming out. I'm gonna have to play with this later and move on. I am excited about the concealer that I'm using. This is the First Aid Beauty. I'm gonna use the First Aid Beauty um, Avocado. What are these called? The Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealers. So I actually have three shades here. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand for you guys so you can see because these are really, really cool. I have the shade five, six, and seven. Again, yeah, they're from First Aid Beauty. The thing about these is that they're supposed to be really moisturizing and they're supposed to have, you know, a nice comfortable um, finish on your skin. I have tried these out once before and I also used one shade to do like around my eyebrows and prime my lids. So I think that they're really cool for that. And I will say that, again, I have dry skin and so, but I like to be matte and I like to bake. So a lot of times my under eyes will be, they'll be on the dry side and I know it and I just, I just don't do anything about it. So here are the three shades right here. So you can see this is number five, this is number six, and this is number seven. So number seven is the one that I usually use like around my eyebrows, just so that it kind of like um, blends in with my face. Since I'm not in love with this foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use seven on my dark spots just so I can get some more coverage because shoot, this ain't doing it. And like I said, it's not a it's not a bad coverage. I just I never read the directions before I try new things. I just go off of like packaging and stuff and I'm like, oh this looks nice. And it's not giving me what I want. Anyway, so the academics have been um, pretty okay. I will say though that the other day, I took my first online um, exam, but I didn't take it in online. Like you have to go in person and take it. And it was a lot, y'all. It was a lot between trying to figure out, okay, underneath my eyes, I'm gonna do number six and I'm also gonna put number five. I really like number five. I know it looks really light, but I like bright under eyes. So I mix a little bit with number six that way. I put number six basically all over my face and number five like right on the inner corner to give you that real good pop, you know what I'm saying? You'll see if y'all know. If y'all know, you're about to find out. Anyway, that test y'all was so stressful. It was very similar to me taking an MCAT where like you have to go in and um, and like you have to like sign in and it's a special building and you have to, um, you can't like bring your book bag in and it was just intense and i was like oh my gosh like all of this just to take a, a, an exam for an online class like nutrition and the class that um i was like most worried about i'm like kind of chilling in and then the class that i was least worried about which nutrition gave me a run for my money so 
keep you on your toes. One thing that I did notice though is that um, for those of you guys who don't know, of course I'm here in Raleigh in North Carolina. I didn't even give a background. So if you're new to my channel, hey, <laughs> sorry I didn't really talk about it, but maybe I'll put it in my intro. But here in Raleigh, um, we, we got a really bad hurricane recently. I'm sure you guys know about it. Like look how easy that was for me to blend out you guys. Like I don't know, you, I want, you see how much concealer I have on my eye right now, right? Look, look, look at this. It is so easy to blend out and it just like blends into your skin. Are you kidding me? I like it. I think the coverage is okay. Not like super amazing, but again it's really good for every day i really like it for every day because it's really really comfortable and it like keeps your under eyes hydrated so if you have like um dry under eyes give this concealer a try and then they have a lot of shades oh i think they only have eight shades but i mean the bottom three i can use all three of these on my face so they're definitely women of color friendly i think it's seven shades i'm not sure i'll leave a link to it in the description box down below i'll try and leave a link to basically everything that i'm basically talking about um down below for you guys so you can see that and i'm super excited because okay i haven't like cream contoured in forever but i look like a flat pancake so i'm gonna go in with my black opal true color uh what is this called skin perfecting skin foundation stick in black walnut because uh, i need it <laughs> so yeah the academics like i said they haven't been um too bad but then once the storm happened we were out of school for a week and that's another thing too like i was going strong that was way too much oh i hate when that happens all right <laughs> so everything was going good for school i've been working on my discipline so just like doing what i need to do every day no matter if i'm tired or whatever and then by the time it got to like the second week i was already burnt out and i was like maybe i shouldn't have gone straight into grad school like maybe i should have taken a year off just because like I think I did the math, what am I, I'm in like 17th grade now, you know? I was like, I've been doing this for a long time and I have a lot more to go. So part of me wishes that I took a break because, okay, what is going on with my skin right now? Yeah, part of me wishes that I took a break because I'm a little burnt out, but at the same time, I have to remember that I have a long way to go and so I really can't stop because if I stop, then uh, It'll, it'll take for me, it'll take me even longer to get where I want to be. And I just have to remember that I'm not where I want to be. And that usually keeps me inspired to keep going. Um, yeah, so that was that. But so it was like perfect timing because as soon as I started to feel that way, I had a whole week off from school. And that was perfect. I literally did nothing for seven days. Um, and I haven't had like even a snow day, you know, like it doesn't snow in Atlanta. There's really no bad weather. So there was maybe like two days in my whole four years where classes were either canceled or you know whatever so it was nice to have a whole week off and it came exactly when i needed it to but then the next week when we were back you know the professors had to make up for lost time and it was just like it was intense it was a bit much so i didn't like that aspect of it but other than that like i said it's not that hard to manage um people work together really well my classmates are actually really cool. Like if they see you in a class and they see you out, like, you know, they'll actually if you need help with anything and everybody's always really down to study together, do homework together. Um, one thing that I think is really different is that here for their office hours, it's like they like to have their professors to themselves. I don't know, it's so weird. It's like, okay, moving on to my next product. I'm so excited. You guys know, you know that I've been using my Ben Eye Banana Powder since I literally have started baking. Like. Once Ben Eye Banana Powder was introduced to the world, I used it and I haven't stopped since. But I even tried my Laura Mercier and I like that one, but you know the color. But a lot of black women love them some Sasha Buttercup. Like barely anybody uses the Ben Nye over the Sasha. I've just never tried it. But today it is here, you guys. It is here for us to try and I am so excited. Like I'm hoping that this is gonna be my new jam because I mean, it's fun to try new things, you know? Are you guys having fun so far? This video is like hella long, as per usual. So yeah, one thing I do like about this packaging is that it does have a sifter. So that's something that the Ben Nye doesn't have. That thing gets everywhere. And I like to apply my, okay, I like to apply my powder 
um, with a dry beauty blender. This is like some really, really cheap beauty blender. I can't remember where I got it from, but um, I never use it to actually blend out anything. I'm trying to like put some powder out without like, get in there, okay. I like that this has a top and stuff, okay. But yeah, see like this is like a really dry beauty blender. It's not wet or anything. And then I like to just dip it in there. Make sure it's all rolled in, okay. Here we go. My eyes feel so moisturized. Like this one is actually really yellow. It's more yellow, I feel like, than the Venn eye is, which I didn't know. I thought that they were both equally yellow, but but that's good though because I needed some brightening. Oh wow, underneath my eyes. Um, and I will be able to tell if this dries out my under eyes because. I've used that concealer with a bin eye and it hasn't dried me out and that bin eye will basically dry out anything. Um, it'll get you set though girl. It'll have you set. I feel like this is definitely going to be really good for women of color. Like I can see how this undertone really brings out the what we mean. I'm putting it everywhere because like I told you guys I've been I was very luminous and <laughs> nobody asked for that. No I did obviously. My um foundation was on this but I like doing that. Wow. <laughs> okay that's that. I look cray cray. We're gonna really like bronze it up. I got this new brush as well. We're gonna try this out. It's from MAC Studio. It's the Pro Essential Powder Brush. Um, it was only $4.99. Can y'all take me serious when I look like this? I can't. Um, it's supposed to be a powder brush, but I want to use it for contour. Well, like a bronzer. Feels good. Yeah, I want to use it for bronzer because I usually use um, an angled brush, but I want to do something different. So I'm going to go back. I've gone back to my CoverGirl Queen. You guys look, it broke. I don't know when, where, or how, <laughs> but I have to get another one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to... I don't want too much, but I'm trying to see if this is picking up the product or not. Okay. Well, this brush is so my camera's so disrespectful it's just gonna shut off on me in the middle of me trying to bronze excuse me y'all i feel like i look so like this is so different this yellow is like really yellow so my face is either gonna look really good after this or cry cry we'll see i like this brush for this Okay, alrighty, next new product. We're gonna go in with our Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder. This is also in Warm Honey, so I'm hoping that it will, you know, do what it needs to do. My under eyes don't look dry yet, you guys. I'm like really, really scared, so. I don't know if this is the full size product, but um, we just gonna go ahead and swirl. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna also use this to dust off the bag. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Do y'all like it? <laughs> powdered donuts um, well i like it i like everything so far i think that the luminosity of the foundation mixed with the powder is a good mix because my skin feels really good like my skin feels good does it look good because it feels good okay anyway what was i saying i was basically saying that once i got back to school sorry like i stopped talking like 20 minutes ago once I got back to school after the break, I'm using a lot of powder, but I do want to make sure I'm really blended. I guess I don't need any more powder, I'll just blend. Once I got back to school, um, that was like last week, and I was like at the library until 3 a.m. every day, just because I just wanted to really make sure that I was getting all of my work done, and I didn't miss any deadlines, and, and you guys know, just trying to be 
proactive i'm gonna go ahead and take those same shades that i use on the top of my lid and put them on the bottom of my lid and then and then i'm gonna put some mascara on so yeah that's it. next question um lish e ye asked me is it how i expected it to be um i guess it's kind of better how i expected it to be um i'm a realist i don't i don't like to say i'm a pessimist i'm a realist so i was being really real with myself and saying like how it was going to be so dramatically different and um i think that everything like in my mind the best case scenario that would happen end up happening like in every situation like so i'm like i'm very happy um how's everything going with my roommate good question um key so pretty um it's going great my roommate like i told you guys is really really nice you should have seen her in my last vlog i hope i put her in there um i plan to edit that video before i edit this one that's why i'm like talking as if i don't know what i'm talking about because i'm not quite sure but i think i'm gonna put her in there um i i can say i think that she was in that video anyway <laughs> um yeah she's really really cool we don't have any problems um she's so nice the other week she was like when she finally saw me because like i told you guys i was at the library like so late every day she was like hey you okay <laughs> she's like you've been out late every day and i'm like yeah girl you know life got real because i was chilling for a second there and um yeah she's cool um are you thinking about getting your phd i would not mind getting an md phd but i'm ahead of that md like i'm gonna get an md either first or um simultaneously i'm not completely ruling out getting a phd but that's not what my i'm i'm not here to get a phd um i know a lot of people are kind of confused on how this goes if you guys don't understand the process i talked about it more in my um um oh by the way i'm all over the place sorry but i wanted to show you guys how see the, how the concealers are still wet and it's been a minute now so you can see how like they never really they dry down but they don't dry down a lot so it's still very comfortable um, underneath your eyes anyway um you have like two types of graduate students you have your graduate students where they are receiving or they're going to receive their phd that's usually like a four five maybe six year program and then you have master's students um there are some and that's like a two-year program you receive your master's some are one year mine is a two year it's like one and a half um i don't know if i'm going to do one and a half or two years we're going to see how the semester goes um and then the, this is only going towards my master's degree. I feel like I don't look as bright as I like to look. I feel like I'm set. I feel like this would be a good powder for me all over my face, but I'm used to my under eyes being brightening, you know? I don't feel like I look bright. I feel like I look still flat. Like, like I didn't set yet, like I missed a step. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, what do you guys think? Anyway. Um, because I, I know that there are some people who are confused and they think that like I'll get two years here and then I'll have two more years of medical school. That's not how this works. This is going to help me get into medical school, but it's not working towards my doctorate degree. There are very few programs out there that are a master's towards your doctorate degree at least like your md doctorate degree like it's they're very few so that's not how this is working okay we're gonna go and highlight i'm gonna go back into the deck of scarlet palette and i'm gonna use the shade literally i'm gonna use a stipple brush from elf to apply this on my high points oh <laughs> i don't know about you guys but i low-key get so annoyed watching people apply highlights everybody's always like like every time you're like we we know we all know how highlight is like girl you ain't know but when you do try a highlight for the first time it is like it it is kind of shocking you be like whoa like i didn't know that this was gonna happen um so that's kind of funny because <laughs> i always tell myself like i'm not gonna do that um you know you gotta give them the good oh i know you see it i know you see it. what it's like any mini my what mo hey hey, hey. <laughs> okay but you know what i'm saying <laughs> i do like this highlight though it's like 
it's really goldy but once you blend it in it's like a really nice like natural um i haven't fully put it yet we still going anyway back to your guys's question so yes i'm not getting my phd i'm getting my master's afterwards i'll be getting my doctorate degree i do still plan on going to medical school i still want to be a doctor if you don't know what i'm talking about check the cards up above and that will you know explain everything um key so pretty also asked me what do you miss at spum that you don't see at your current school it's a great question as well you got all the good questions this um i guess it would be like campus events and i know that they do have campus events but like i told you guys in my vlog because i'm an um a graduate student i don't really know what's going on in the undergrad world and that is a good thing to a certain extent because i would be i would always have that battle of like should i go out there and do it and then y'all would be like yeah you need to meet people and stuff but like i don't i don't i need to be in the in the library like um so yeah the only thing that i would say that i would miss is just like i feel like there's not a lot of but there are like i know the other day i was hanging out with my friend and i saw that everybody was going somewhere and i was like where's everybody going and i realized that it was a volleyball game on a saturday no, on a friday night and everybody was on their way to the volleyball game i was like wow y'all are going to support the volleyball team <laughs> like that was so weird to me you know it was different but i mean i liked it i thought that was cool so i think that they do do things that are just different um but like i said they're just they're just different for me so okay this video is getting super long so a lot of you guys are asking about financial aid financial aid for me wasn't that hard um well, I'm not gonna say it wasn't that hard. Oh, I forgot to put on blush. I said I was gonna do blush today. Y'all know I never do blush, but there's a blush in this palette, so we gonna go ahead and we gonna, we gonna do it. Do I even have a blush brush? Look. And the shade is called Bay. So we're gonna... I never put on blush, y'all. Like, do I even know how to do this? Who am I? I'm putting it right in between my highlight and my contour, though. That's why I wanted to do it last. I do think that when I put on blush, usually this whole area looks way like more flawless because it is a good balance in between your highlight and your contour i'm gonna focus it on the apples of my cheeks and then blush it back you know what i'm saying that nice natural flush and then of course on the nose yeah i don't put blush on your nose when you do blush it's a whole it's a whole thing i also like to put bronzer on my nose but y'all know that okay do I look like a clown? Financial aid. So yes, I was saying that financial aid isn't um, super, it, it's just different because I have to do it on my own. Like before my mother was doing my financial aid in undergrad, now I'm doing my own financial aid and I'm still taking out loans. I hope to not be taking out as many loans the next time I have to do this, but it was my first time and I was kind of like, I didn't know what I was doing. So um, I basically just hound, <laughs> I hound my, um, financial aid advisors they literally already know my name i'll be in that office like i didn't know how to get anywhere but i knew how to get to the financial aid office okay that was one of the first things that i did and um yeah and i just made sure that i had my stuff together and they'll tell you what you need to do it's just it was a little bit annoying because it's like you have your cashier's office and you have your financial aid people and so you have to like be the middle ground for your own stuff and you kind of just want them to tell you like what to do i'm like just make it be paid like just do it but you got to do it yourself so that's just adulting um terry jb asks how is the class load and material compared to undergrad i think that if um this is how i would say i feel like in classes it's like they teach three sections in one day it's like the material isn't necessarily harder it's just more all at one time which is kind of like dang like why 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 are you doing so much like when you think that the class is over they'll be like okay like the slides will be 70 slides like 70 slide powerpoints and it's like we could have stopped at 30 like my mind capacity stopped at 30. i feel like in college they went to 50 and it would be like you were really pushing it but and they barely use the slides like they barely use the powerpoints it's like they'll be talking 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 and you're like Ooh. so it's a lot of preparation outside of class it's a lot of work outside of class and then actual class is a lot of information but like the actual work isn't harder and the actual like course load isn't more kind of i hope that kind of answers your question and a lot of people running that too and again i'm just starting but that's my first um impression 
what do I think is the best way to meet people in a completely new environment? I would say get yourself out there in the things that I went to, like the different socials. Um, I feel like that really helped me meet a lot of my friends. And then when you click with somebody, like reach out to them, get their contact information and ask them to hang out. And if they know people, you will probably, or it's possible that you will mesh well with them as well because you know, like people like people. So, um, and then, you know, you just, gain friends through other people's friends and stuff like that. It's really just a matter of like putting yourself out there and continuing to build upon the relationships that you do make. Cause you don't realize how many relationships you either have the opportunity to make or that you do make like, you know, in a day, especially when you're first starting out and everybody wants to meet somebody. Um, do I like North Carolina? Interesting question. I mean, I guess it's a pretty simple question. Y'all, I feel like I look so dewy. I guess we just have to go with it, huh? <laughs> I feel like I look like it's crazy because my foundation was lighter but I feel like I look really really tan specifically because I, I I don't I don't think I like I don't think I like the powder we'll talk about it later okay we're gonna go into our lips I'm going to line my lips of course with MAC cork and then we're gonna go into shambles in the lip palette I also have a new lip color by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is their liquid lipstick in stripped so I'm gonna do a little lip concoction but i'll try and talk to y'all while i'm doing it okay what do i like about north carolina or do i like north carolina i thought that it was interesting because i was telling my friend the other day that since bowman was like a closed campus and it was like a small campus it was very clear to see like i'm on campus i'm off campus you know like when you went out into the city you there was nothing for you to do on Spelman campus where you felt like you were experiencing in atlanta you know but as soon as you went outside Spelman Gates, you were in Atlanta. Here in Raleigh, it, it's like you have to like make an effort to go out downtown, but you can do so many things kind of on college campus without you like you really being on campus and like you don't feel like you're on campus, you know? I, so it took me a minute to realize like, um, I haven't really went to Raleigh downtown. I've only been in like <laughs> Raleigh where the state is. And um, it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just like a fact. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I think I like this color. Ooh, I think I like it. I think I like it. Ooh, I think I like it. I think I like it. Uh. Mm -hmm. This is my first time using Anastasia too, and it feels, it feels good. Na, 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 na. I knew that it was good. Mm -hmm. It feels good. I knew that I would. Okay, I feel like I'm not glowing enough. I'm gonna go into my Master Chrome. I'm not even showing this product. Do a little bit of this. <laughs> Y'all said it was childish. I think it's cute. Do a little bit of it in a corner. I feel cute. Da, na, 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 na. I knew that I would. Na, da, na, 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 na. Hey, I'm so cute. Mm, mm, so cute. <laughs> Now that my face is beat, dun, 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 dun. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna answer a few more of you guys' questions. We're gonna chat a little bit more before I end the video. I know this video is already super long, but I feel like I didn't answer everything that I want to talk about. How are the foods and the restaurants? Um, the food, again, there's a lot of different places to eat here. Um, and I haven't been to a lot of them yet. I honestly haven't. I've been trying to be like a good girl and cook. Um, so I haven't really experienced a lot of them yet. But I'm glad that I have a lot of options. So that's cool. Um, how does it feel going to a PWI? For me, it like I said, it doesn't feel that different. I mean, it definitely feels different. Let me not say that. It feels different, but it's, it's fine. It's just kind of like, it's just a thing. It's like, okay, I'm around all white people now. <laughs> and that's it. That's how it feels. Um, I feel like I'm more so like I look around like oh there's a black girl or oh there's a black man <laughs> you know a little bit more of that um other than that nothing that's like super different or like oh my god like I feel like my professors treat me fine um everything else is fine it's just it's just cool to like 
to be somewhere that's different like even just a new city whatever even if it was another hbcu things are different here the culture is different um there are things that are specific to their culture because they are a pwi like going to their games and going all out for tailgate and stuff and it's something that i'm excited to experience one day so okay have i been experiencing a culture shock i wouldn't say that i have um I wouldn't say it's a sh I wouldn't uh, I, I have but it's not a shock necessarily it's more so just like I am noticing the differences um, from this institution to my last and things that I talk to uh, like a lot of the black people around here even though some of them have been to HBCUs a lot of them didn't even grow up in predominantly black areas whereas like I've always, I'm, I've never been the only black girl. Like I'm always around people. Like it wasn't just because I went to Spelman that I understand black girl magic. It wasn't just because, you know what I'm saying? It's like everywhere I've been before, going to school, I've, I've, I was always around black people. Um, I didn't even realize like that there were like clubs that didn't play like hip hop music. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because even just DC in general has a very like urban, black feel like not feel but like they are um influenced by black culture so i wouldn't say it's a shock it's just it's eye-opening it's like wow so this is this is you this is i again i am recognizing that i'm in a white space because there are different things that happen like it was hard for me to find a beauty supply store um i was like I went to the I went to the beauty supply store and I was like, "What in the world is this? What? <laughs> Where am I?" Little things happen that remind me that this is not this place wasn't made for me. But it doesn't mean that I don't feel comfortable. It just just kind of snaps me back into reality. Um, but it's nothing that I haven't been able to like manage so far. Um, Am I going to t tone down my wardrobe because I'm at a PWI? I go to the PWI and it's aggravating. I'm not. I'm not going to tone down my wardrobe. I know that was like the topic of discussion on my first one just because like for the last 10 minutes I was talking to you guys and I talked about that. Um, I'm not going to tone down my wardrobe just because I don't see... Wow. I've been talking to you guys this whole time with lipstick on my teeth. That is so sexy. <laughs> and it's like in there deep. Up there. I'm not gonna tone it down like I was telling you guys just because it's me um I just I feel comfortable wearing what I want to wear my closet I only have but like three sweatsuits um I, I I feel uncomfortable when I go places in sweatsuits unless I'm like I have so much going on but it's it, it's not a hassle for me to dress up like for example to put on a shirt like this if you have it in your closet and you know what I'm saying when my it's easier for me to put together an outfit in my mind like if I say I want to get dressed okay I'm gonna put on this pink top real quick and some pants then for me to be like let me just put on a t-shirt just the way that you decide what t-shirt you're gonna wear in the morning it's what I decide what I'm gonna wear it's just what I do I don't really know how else to explain it except for like it's not hard for me so it's not a, it's not bothersome to me so I probably won't change it because this is how I've always been it what I don't think y'all saying like oh it's an HBCU thing before I went to an HBCU when I went to high school I was dressing up every day too I was best dressed because this is how I've always been the moment I even when I wore a uniform I was the kind of person where I would wear oh I just smeared these um whatever I was literally that girl that wore the uniform skirt every day I don't care if it's winter I don't care if it's raining outside I'm wearing a skirt every day even if it's a uniform and you're gonna realize because I'm gonna have different little socks on you know there's only a certain amount of things you could do to your uniform that was always me like that's just who I am so I don't take offense to it but it's kind of just like like y'all gotta realize who y'all talking to like who I am you know what I'm saying um somebody asked me what planner do, do I use for school if I use a planner I do use um Ruby's planner from Lavish Life so I will leave that in the description box down below I do also believe I have discount code I'll leave that down below um I love her planner it's actually really really good and it's helping me out with like budgeting and stuff like that so a video is coming with me talking about like how I stay organized in college and stuff but I just have to get my stuff together the last question that I've been receiving a lot is by Shop Kiss My Jewels and she wanted to know about my dating life and any chance that I'll date outside of my race here and that's actually a really good question because I was having a conversation with my guy friend last night and we were just talking about how um, I understand why women who have who are in like higher levels of education end up dating outside of their race in comparison to black men and that's because um, he was basically saying that he was again always around white people his whole life and when he came to rally he was really excited which is so crazy because he was like there's a lot of black people here 
it's crazy that he thought that this was a lot of black people but okay and um and he was saying that he was really excited to meet a black woman to get married to because he was like this is like he felt like this is his time he's so excited i was like i'm so happy for you that's great um and for him because like he has so many more options that he's ever had before again that's great for me I feel like I'm having less and less and less and less options. You know, it was like I could find being a real cute man back in high school, but only a certain amount of them went to college. Then I could find me somebody in college. And then now that I'm in grad school, it's like, you know, the numbers just get smaller and smaller and smaller. And this is specifically for like black men. I feel like educated black men, um, they are just not in this like space. And so even just in comparison, out of the people that I know and I've met, I have two guy black male friends whatever who are straight um, i have one who's not and so that gives me two choices whereas like for him he had like there's like five of us like girls who hang out so that's not to say that like you know we're one of us are going to be his wife but he has five people to choose from whereas like i have two and like who's to say that i'm going to vibe with these two people like you know um you never know so with that being said if i were to choose my top five people that i've met here so far as far as like dating or being interested in um my options would only be if i just gave them a pass just because they were black then i would still have three people who would be another race so the chances of me dating somebody outside my race is greater than me dating somebody that's black but it doesn't mean that that's what i want or that's what i'm looking for or that's what i'm like interested in or that's what i'm like that's my type it's not it's just kind of like i'm keeping an open mind um but i want to date a black man so I'll wait <laughs> if that's what it takes like but if I vibe with somebody and he's not my race I'm also not going to like push him away because um it's nice but it's not a requirement as long as you definitely understand you gotta understand if you don't then I just I I could not but I'm a complex multifaceted faceted woman um I'm a lot of things other than just being a black woman that's like a big part of me but that's not all of me so if you can understand that and plus more better than or equal to a black man then i would definitely give you a chance so yeah all right double majors so that's gonna bring me to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it me talking to you about everything that's been going on for this past month with me moving here to rally i want to thank everybody who asked me a question on instagram again if you guys are not following me on there it's at breland barbie so please follow me you guys know i love my instagram i love interacting with you guys on there and i didn't mention it to you guys but i did end up closing off my snapchat so if you guys want to contact me you have to do it through instagram now so so i'll be over there and i hope to see you guys in my next video if you're not already please subscribe and give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye